Well, today we have this device, which we'll be able to recover in a very easy and simple way. In this video tutorial, we'll use a completely updated method for those who haven't been able to recover their device. This method will help you do so. What are we going to do in this video tutorial? Let's watch the video step by step so you don't miss any details and can find a solution. This recovery. The first thing we're going to do is connect to a Wi-Fi network before starting this process. We also want to tell you that in the description of the video and in the first pinned comment we have other additional methods. Let's start and we're going to connect to those Wi-Fi networks. We're going to click, we click next, we click here on skip. We're going to click here, in skip we're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network before doing the recovery process. After we connect to that Wi-Fi network we're going to give you the tour so that you can see that our device has a screen lock also finally it has the forgotten Gmail account. We're going to click next, as we had said we also have a method in the description of the video and in the first pinned comment. Another thing that I also want to tell you is that since YouTube enabled the community function for those people who always watch our video tutorials and are always active, they can join that community. What would be the benefit of the YouTube member community? They would have access to our video in advance. We will also be answering those comments in that community. So we can help and solve whatever problem they have with their device. We will also be sending you the videos, maybe some method that you need, we would be sending you those videos so that you can solve this problem of recovering your device. What happened was that our phone was left with a screen lock. We forgot and what we did was reset the time, our phone completely reset it and we were left with that Google account again. We were left with the same screen lock but in addition, we were left with the Google account. So, with that said, what are we going to do now? Being here, what we're going to do the following. We're going to click here where it says do not copy here it would take us to the same block that we had been left with from the beginning before resetting our phone. We were left with this same block as well. Finally, we were left with the forgotten Gmail account. We're going to click here. Click on it, click again where it says do not copy, click here below. Click here where it says use my Google account here it would take us directly to our Google account. What are we going to do here? Well, for those people who know the email, you will be able to add the email here. Click next and then add the password and that will prevent you from seeing the entire tutorial until the end. Yeah, this would make a method without a PC directly here. If you do it like this, if you know that email and the password, you can add it here. You also have an alternative, if you don't have the email. They can have the phone number, they add their phone number. They receive a verification code with a text message. Then we add that code from our phone. It would also give us what is access to our device. For those people who do not have any of those options. Then the recommendation is to watch the video tutorial step by step so you can solve and recover your device. What are we going to do in this video? Tutorial we are going to use what is the PC? We are going to use a PC, we are also going to explain what they are going to download. They are going to download a tool, we are going to download a tool. I am going to explain everything step by step, we are going to download a tool. Before we run the tool. It is advisable to temporarily deactivate the antivirus. We deactivate that antivirus temporarily, after we deactivate it. 
Then we do the following, we run the tool, so that the antivirus blocks us. Well we go to the PC, we go to this tab here we are going to click on it. Our antivirus, here it is. Then we click here on the right side, to the shield where it says virus and threat protection. Then we go down here and click where it says manage settings and then here in real time protection we are going to deactivate that option. We deactivate it. After we deactivate it we are going to explain what they are going to download here in the browser. In the browser they are going to write exactly as it appears here on the screen. They are going to write Davy cell just as it sounds device l I am going to spell it for you so that you can. Write down Duvik eel. Daviskull and this entry will appear that says Dave Gel or Android DTV. Those two options may appear, it does not matter it is the same you are going to select it here at will. Take you to this section here you are going to be able to find many more methods. Both for PC and without PC you go to the last option that appears here and you are going to click on the option that says DB Cell Apps or Devi Cell Applications. We are going to select that option, that would be it, then more methods will appear here. Many methods will appear here, you are going to go down here you are going to find the entry. You will find the tool here. You will also find what are the drivers. Directly here you will also find the password too. Print the file. Here is the tool that we are going to use in this video tutorial. After extracting the tool you will run it, right click as administrator. You will say yes, you will click here on next. Next, next here it will run. Correctly and the tool will be installed. After it is completely installed you will click on finish. When you click on finish automatically the tools will open for us, here on the screen there will be a shortcut. Sometimes it usually happens that when we run the tool, what is the antivirus A blocks the tool? If it blocks the tool you deactivate the antivirus again. We click here where it says log in, as I was telling you. If the tool blocks you deactivate the antivirus again because it has been activated automatically it is activated again in some cases it has happened to me that the antivirus is activated and blocks the tool. Well as we have here here we can also find the drivers. Install the Mediate, SPD and Qualcomm and so on. So I always recommend installing this one as well. Install your driver according to the processor here you are going to. Install this driver, this driver is very important, why it is very important. Because this driver is going to tell us what driver we have installed on our PC. It is going to appear like this when we run it, it is going to appear like this. We are going to click here where it says remove driver. We are going to click here, all the drivers that are installed will appear. If it appears here it is because it is installed correctly. But if the Mediate or another process does not appear. You are going to click on the first option install and they will appear here. But it will appear here when you do the recovery process of your phone. For now it is not going to appear, well, having said that. Let's go click here and we are going to go to. Our model here we are going to select our model. Then we go down here. We click here and we are going to search for our model. You are going to select your model hello. Then select your model then you will select it our device. Is this is the Honor X5B you will select it. Here it tells us that it is LX2 but no well after. You selected it is X2 and mine that I have here is the X3 it does not matter it is. The same method you go here and here Huawei. B1 leave it like that. Then you will go here in service, we select service. Then we will click here where it says reset FRP. But before clicking it we will turn off our phone. We will press the power button for 3 seconds. 
then we turn it off and that it is completely off. Having said that we will click here, here we will click. We go to when we connect the device off. If the driver appears here you will click on the driver and you will click on install. It has to be quick because in some cases, A it is removed so we do them quickly. This is for those people who do not have the drivers installed. Having said that then we click here where it says reset FRP. The phone must be paid, if it appears here then you do as we have indicated. Now I'm going to connect the device. I'm going to connect it without pressing any buttons and the program has to recognize it. If it doesn't recognize it and the driver appears here you will click on it and you will install it. Now this will appear, as you can see here you will see FERP reset successful in green. When it appears in green your device will automatically turn on. You are not going to do anything, the device will do everything. Now that it is like this what we are going to do is wait for our phone to completely restart. When our phone completely restarts I am going to explain the easiest way to be able to configure your device, but this does not end there. Since your device when we do these recoveries via PC our phone automatically remains with some errors. How do we correct those errors, I will be explaining to you. At the end of the video, I am going to disconnect it. What are the errors that remain on our phone that times we get that? A application A stopped or that the operating system continues to fail. Or some error or suddenly you will always have the device it will be very slow in the hour that you're going to browse it's going to be slow too the other thing would be is that the screen usually gets stuck on you then I'm going to tell you what. The error is that you're going to do I say what the error is that we have left and what you're going to do to correct these errors we're going to click on next we click here on skip and jump. We click here on next, now we click on next. We're going to wait or if not, if you want to do it faster we're going to go back. We click here, we click on next, we disconnect the Wi-Fi networks. But to do this we don't have to have any SIM card inserted in the phone. If you have a SIM card inserted it will not give you access. So if you have a SIM card you do it with the Wi-Fi network. I'm going to tell you here no, we tell you later, we click here. Enable and continue here we click on finish. Now that it takes us directly to what it is at the beginning. I'm going to explain the error that know and where you're going to correct it. You go to adjustment. You're going to write reset here and you're going to reset the device when it resets by. Complete we would have a totally new phone. A phone free of any error. You are going to reconfigure it as we just did. Remove the SIM card if you have SIM card, click there, deactivate the Wi-Fi. Click next, 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 suddenly if you get skip, skip. Now when you get to home you can use it normally. Free of any error.